Hello everybody, this is Jeff again, and I'm back with yet another indie game called SPAI. This one won the UDK's Best Indie Game of the Year award. Um, as far as I understand, the award came out in January, so we're going to check this out. And I will tell you, this is a splash screen. Um, I have not played this game at all yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I was told that there's some issues with this, and I don't know how the volume is going to be compared with my volume too, actually. While I'm talking to you guys, I will probably not be able to exit this and change it. I'm going to turn up my mic volume because I know it was a problem with the last game I played and the sounds were really, really loud. So let me take a second here and do that and be right back with you guys. Alright guys, and I'm back. I have adjusted my my microphone volume to be a little bit louder because I did test the video and it seems that it's very, this music is very loud and unfortunately I don't see an option screen right here to even turn it off, though I wouldn't want to do that for my first video at least. But let's get started here. I'm going to play and uh, let's get into this game a little bit and see what we have to offer. As Oh, it's a little jumpy. And that's one thing I was going to say that I was told when I was doing some looking around at... Man, this is really loud. Um, I can use the mouse to look around. Apparently it is not... Oh, no, it is inverted. It's just really choppy. And I was told that... Oh, he flies around, apparently. This is a third-person puzzle game. So that works. Left mouse to shoot and interact. The tutorial, so I'm assuming I'm supposed to be messing around with this. Maybe it'll give me a tutorial of a menu or of a music somehow. I don't see anything with music yet. I gotta turn down my system volume um, for the game because it's really a perfect shooting area. So let's see. Warning trigger lasers travel inside blocks. Trigger lasers travel in one direction. If trapped, the enemy will be summoned. Blank blocks are destructible. Shoot through them. So I guess I can shoot these blocks, is what it's telling me. Something with these lasers, however. Can I move this stuff? No, I can't push on it. I can't right click on it either. Am I supposed to? Can I jump? I can jump. Am I supposed to do anything with this here? I'm gonna trigger lasers travel inside blocks. I don't know what it wants me to do with that, though. Apparently I triggered that still. Static blocks are indestructible. Shoot the blank blocks to go through them. So I can't shoot these ones, is what it's saying. But I can shoot these ones. Wait. This block does not affect the laser, nor does it fall. Indestructible. Okay. I should I be doing something else with this? No, apparently not. Uh, stop blocks prevent the lasers from passing through. So I want to block these lasers. Uh, I think that will block the lasers. Okay, that will block from the other side. So, okay, I, I get it. I get it. Man, it's really choppy. What are these? If the trigger laser is this block, the enemy will be summoned. Do I want to summon an enemy? I think I might want to summon an enemy. Just to, just for fun. Let's see what these enemies are made of here. Ooh, enemy summoned! Okay, I guess it just started itself over because it's the tutorial and everything. So instead I want to block these lasers on both sides. I guess I can't break those, but it's kind of hard to get my controls, I will say that. Jump over that, let's see. Who's the firewall tutorial? Caution, this wall is an active firewall. Meaning what? Okay, that's, we're going to summon an enemy if it's active. Where's the enemy? Oh, oh my god, it's hard to control. Oh, that's an enemy?
No, I was wrong. This is not inverted. It was just choppy and made me feel like it was inverted. So I gotta figure out how to invert my controls. I can't even see what just happened. I'm under the assumption I died. But I'm not sure. Okay. Not really sure what happened there. But... So there's no more. So the laser is being stopped right there. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I was looking at this from the wrong side. Can I just run away? I guess not. I just can't get through. I think I just died again. <laughs> Either way, okay, so this is where the beam comes from. It's from this mark. And that's where it retracts to, I believe. Did I do that wrong? So if I shoot this, yeah, that one blocks it. And now I can shoot this. Okay, so that's none of the bad stuff. I don't quite know how to get through here though. The rest of the way. Spacebar to ascend to control to descend. So I can go up or down. are chasing me. Oh, wrong way. Let's go down. So I'm assuming this is, is this more tutorial? Ugh. It's really hard to control this game. I gotta figure out how to change these controls. File decryption tutorial. So you require a decrypted file to get through the gate. So here's the gates, which apparently I need a decrypted file for. Because I can't do anything with it. So let's look over here. What is this? Ooh. I guess I can't interact with that at all. Can I shoot it? I apparently can't do anything here. So I guess I would go down here. So security protocol can determine when you have touched a file. When you grab a file, you will be attacked. So I need to grab this file, apparently. I can also use the file as a shield, so let's grab this file. I got it. I'm using it as a shield. Oh, it's hard to run backwards. Oh my god, it's so hard to see what's happening. I really need to fix these controls. the decryptor. Do I not decrypt it? I'm not quite sure what just happened. Drop the encrypted file into the command console to enter the file and decrypt it. Didn't I do that? Got it, they're going to attack me basically. So if I drop it in here, was I not close enough? Oh, there we go, I have to take it all the way through. So now I'm in the file, I guess. Oh. Stand on the platform. You cannot stand on this platform, shoot to the state to the solid state. So I just, I just shot it. Does this one un solid state itself when I get off. Let's use the same moving platform. This platform follows the yellow blocks when switched to a solid state. So it's going. Oh shoot, I needed to get on that, I bet. Oh, I gotta try mid-air shots on him, huh? So can I bring him back? So 
I need to get. As I just complained about, I need to get these controls fixed because it's hard to actually move. So I need to try a mid-air shot, huh? There we go. So double jump. Oh, interesting. I was unaware. These things just look like I have to activate them. That last one's a moving platform. This one should not. Be. I think the last one's moving. It looks the same, but it uh, it's got yellow stuff by it, so I would assume it moves. Yep, it moves. Enter the core to the big puzzle. Enter. Files now decrypted. Grab the file and take it to the gate. Where's the file? There it is. Boop. Ooh, I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm assuming I go through here. So now this is a puzzle. But before I continue on with this puzzle, guys, what I'm going to do is try to find out how to change these controls. But I will get back to you at a different time. And I will see you soon, okay? Thanks, everybody. Hey guys, I'm back and right where we left off, and let me show you something. There's no, in the UDK, apparently there's no real good way to invert your mouse, like just with like on-screen commands and stuff, because it's a big, big issue. But if it's the tilde key, you can type into the console. I guess if you just type invert mouse space one, that now inverts my mouse. And uh, actually I just uninverted it, I guess that just changes it to the opposite because yeah, there we go, now it's inverted again. Um, I gotta tell you, I left the game and I came back and it's very, it doesn't give you a spot to save or anything like that so I'm not really sure what's going on so I had to come through those first puzzles again but let me tell you it's a heck of a lot easier with my mouse the way I normally control it so this is right where we left off though so we're going to see here basically I need to beat this so this for sure needs to block that one off because I don't want it to drop and that hand's going to need to go block this. Um, in theory, I think I can just lower these all the way down now. Jump through here, maybe? Is this water again? Can I swim in it, though? Or do I have to just go to the ground? Oh yeah, I'm swimming, okay. I'm assuming I don't want to touch these lasers. Gotta get my angles right here to... I don't know if that was telling me I got hit or what that sound was or what, but now I gotta do a puzzle? under the water. Interesting. Um, let's see what we got. That one's coming in from the right. This one's coming in from the left, so it's every opposite one. Need to get... Think about this puzzle for just a second while I look at this. I'm afraid when enemies come out because I don't think I'm going to be that good at taking them on. To start with, it looks, like, looks like that's okay right there. That's blocking this whole row. That one's going to have to stay there, I would assume. So if I go like... So that's still blocking that. Block in this one though. That I can destroy, nothing will happen. Same with like 
maybe I don't need much to get through here. There's nothing that, that's gonna hurt. If I bring this down here. I mean, can I just go through this little spot? Let's find out. It does not want me to. Um. Not really sure why. How big of an area do I need to open to be able to get through? To get on the other side of these. Again, there we go. How big of an area do I need? I can't drop this one down anymore. I can, however, drop this one. Is that a big enough area now? There we go. That was a big enough area. Okay, right. I guess you just need a little bit more, a little bit bigger than it looks, I think. Well, there's sentry detected. Sentry is immune to your attacks. So avoid it at all costs. Okay, so I've got to avoid the sentry. How do I do such things? Where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go over in here? Oh, that's a floor. I didn't even notice that was a floor. So I avoided it. We're at another decryptor area, I see. Decryptor. Lots of code. Well, I need a file to bring to the decryptor first. Is that the file way up there? How do I get up there? But I came in there, right? Puzzle to get to the file? Interesting. The block redirects the laser from the direction indicated by the arrow. The laser must stay within the wall. If the laser exits the wall, the enemy will be summoned. Can I turn these? Whoops. Where is the enemy? I can't fire. I can't fire at this guy. Can I reset this thing? Oh, I can't fire in that room. There, I want to reset this puzzle. The enemies are still here, though. I guess I died. Okay, I died. I don't know what death does for you, but I died. So I just want to... I can move things left and right in this instead of just up and down. Because all I need to do is change one thing then. Um. Well, hell, long story short, it looks like that. There we go. <laughs> now the laser's been taken care of. And I can even block the laser off right there. I go through this. Am I still looking for a file though? I'm confused. Turret detected. Turrets also immune to your attacks. Redirect the laser on the wall to destroy the turret. Okay, so that's the turret. And it looks like that piece of the laser is pointed right at it, so I need to get it into him somehow. Um, so I can't just drop this down. I need to drop this and this to block that laser. Now I can drop this down. Drop that down. There we go. I'm assuming I have to now so I'm not sure what I have to do now because I'm assuming that the laser can still hurt me did I just summon an enemy I did 
I have a feeling enemies aren't supposed to be taken out. I mean, look at them. There's like 85 of them. I don't think you uh, physically can beat them. Let me just jump in here and do this again. Oh wait, why did I start back over here? Oh. I already forgot how I did this. Oh yeah, didn't I just go like this? Why can't I shoot anything? I'm gonna reset the puzzle. I apparently can't shoot. Um, hod. Go back out here, try again. There we go. <laughs> that was just weird. Gave me some problems. But then I have to drop that down. I had to do that again, but I did. Okay, so now this, there's gotta be a way to shut. Oh, this one stayed intact. That's kind of weird. Maybe I didn't officially complete that puzzle or something. It was something I was supposed to do with it. No, oh, wait, let me see. So is this thing back in. Oh no, yeah, I don't even have to redo it. I said that. Kill it and move on. Reset the puzzle, move on. The laser's clear. Oh, there's the file. Oh man, I gotta take this all the way back upstairs. Crap. So they said I can use this as a shield because all those guys are gonna chase me now. But maybe if I'm just quick enough with it. the decryptor. Wink. I wonder if this is what the inside of a file really looks like. God, this is so much easier to maneuver. With the mouse inverted. Actually, I was playing some video games with... I was playing some videos of somebody the other day, um, playing some zombies on Black Ops, and I guess I still never played Black Ops, just the zombie part of it now. Wait, is this? That's where I started. Or is that not where I started? I'm trying to figure out which direction to go. Here. Was I supposed to go up here? Is that where I started? Get down here. Oh, I guess that's right. Um, and she actually does not play on inverted, so it's really confusing. I was trying to play with her controller for a minute, and I'm like, whoa. Oh, that's weird. And I'm like, I can't do this anymore. How do I get that thing to come back? It's kind of funny to me because everybody, I can't say everybody obviously, but in, oh, I almost just fell off. Inversion seems to be the way that most people play like first person shooter games and things like that. But it does however concern me that if most people play that way, why is that not the default? Why is it always just an option? So maybe I am, maybe I am a rare one who plays inverted, but far away away, I gotta try this double jump. Hua hua. I guess it works. Um Is that where I'm supposed to jump into? I hope so. Hua. Oh yes, apparently so. So now that file was or the gate was way the hell down, right? Do those enemies come after me now that it's decrypted? We're gonna find out. And I mean, in UDK, apparently it doesn't even make it an easy way to uh, actually invert your stuff with like menu options and stuff. 
That's the, what I gathered from the forums that I had read about all of it. Though there's a way to do it, obviously, because I showed you guys what it was. Glad I found. There we go. Through the gate. Good, I hope that's the end of the tutorial, because I don't want to have to start over if I have to leave. Good. Now, is there a way to save this game, is what I wonder? Because I'm going to call this episode good. We just went through the tutorial together, and I appreciate you guys watching, and tell me what you think of SPAI. I will put in uh, a link to the creator's website in the comments. You guys can go check it out, download it, see what you want to do, um, see if you enjoy it. Maybe find some things out that I'm not going to find out, because I think I'm going to have some problems with this game. It looks a little, a little confusing from time to time, so let's just hope I can save my progress and move on from there. Because if I hit escape, there's no save option, which is kind of concerning to me. So before I actually exit the game, I'm going to look and see if there's a way to save it. Um, but I'm going to end this video, and thank you guys for watching.